All right, this is exercise for the background eraser tool. So open up the Cheetah JPEG, duplicate the background layer. Uh, it's there we go. Just use the menu, duplicate that layer. I'm on step two. And rename it Cheetah. Say OK. So now we're going to work on the Cheetah layer. Step three, choose the eraser tool. It's over here in the toolbox, eraser tool. It can be nice and big. And just get rid of a bunch of the green. And we are working on the Cheetah layer. and. It appears as though nothing is happening here when I'm erasing, but it's because this layer is still turned on. So turn that off, and then you will see the background go away. So I would be doing this very carefully, but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to speed it up. So erase as much as you can. Use a hard edged brush so that uh, you're not erasing anything extra. Step four, choose the background eraser tool. It's right here underneath the eraser. And this tool also erases pixels, but um, I'm going to make the brush smaller with my bracket sign. So this also erases, but what it does is there's a little target right in the center of that circle. And when you click, yikes, we need a smaller brush. <laughs> and when you click, it's looking for only that color. Now I do need to go up and just make sure here, continuous and contiguous. and 20%. So my tolerance was way too high there. And so it was picking up a lot of extra stuff other than the green. So that's a lot better. OK, so I just like to click as I go along here. I can zoom in. As long as I, the target's on the green, it's looking for green things with my tolerance down at 20. So you're going to continue until you get all the green out. And sometimes you might want to have a smaller brush. Make sure you zoom in. And anywhere that you see green, we want to get it out, even if it's a pixel at a time. So you would continue taking all the green out. So the next step is step 7, to see how well you did. Press Control and add a new layer. So press down your Control key, add a new layer. The Control key just means that it's going to force the new layer to be right underneath the layer that we were working on. And then the next step is press and hold Alt and Backspace. And that is supposed to put black in, but I did not have my default colors on, so I'm going to undo that step, switch to my default colors, and then do Alt Backspace again. And so once the green shows up, or the black shows up, you can see that there's a whole lot of green left um, that needs to, to come out, but not on this layer. Go back to your cheetah layer and continue erasing. So the important thing that you learned is just the contrast sometimes of having a darker color, especially against those whiskers, shows you that you still have a lot of pixels that we couldn't even pick up on when the background was white. So you're going to clean up this whole area and then go on to step Eight. So step eight, once you've finished your erasing, I'll, I'm just going to double click on the hand just to fit to screen. Do a control A, 
control A selects everything. Do a control C. That means that we've just copied this whole picture, including the black, and unfortunately I still have some green, and the cheetah, to the clipboard. So that is step eight. And then switch to the new black layer that we made in the previous step. Well, actually, we need to deselect also so that nothing is selected. Switch back to this black layer. And then choose Horizontal Type Mask Tool right here. It says click to the left of the cheetah and set up your font. So Arial Black, this needs to be 120 points. I'll enter that. I will get my character panel. I believe that I already have this set. Yeah, the letting is set, but you probably won't, so that needs to be done. This means that you will be typing in all capitals. And everything's set, so type in cool cats. We also have center spacing. Now, I know that's not the right place, but to finish everything, we'll, we'll move it in a minute. So, we've set that, and we are going to turn off the cheetah layer. And if you don't do this, it won't work. So, you, now you can see the text that we have. And we're going to do a special paste that's going to copy that image that we that's going to paste the image that we copied. So paste special, paste into this text. It looks like maybe it didn't all come in, but it, it has. But first I want you just to notice right here is our mask. And we have a mask thumbnail that can be selected. And this is the image that we copied. And right now, this needs to move over to the right to go more underneath this text. So with this left one selected, go to your Move tool and move it over until you've got a good pattern in there. And when we have this one selected and we use the Move tool, it's going to move the whole outline over. And you may have to readjust. So now I'm going to turn on our other layer and just move this out of the way so we can see. So you can see I still need to move the text over. So I need to, in the layers to click the Cool Cats mask and then with the Move tool just move it over as it looks like it's positioned in your handout. You can see I have some green here instead of the pattern so I'll just switch here and Again, just move the pattern over. And after that, you have one step where you're going to add uh, you're going to add a bevel and emboss here. So go to your effects, bevel and emboss and just use the default and turn that on and it adds a little bit to to that